The following video is brought to you by Grin. Grin is a marketplace for exchanging growth tactics on social media. Things like shoutouts, mentions, guest posts, and more. If you guys are interested in signing up today for free, click the link in the description down below and get yourself started with Grin today. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. Today, what we're going to be doing and what I'm going to be showing you guys today is how you can get any car for free from the brand new Halloween DLC that did come inside GTA 5 online very recently. Now, the awesome thing about this method that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video, this is completely legal. We're not breaking any Rockstar Terms of Service in this video. And most importantly, it is super easy to do. Anyways, before I want to get into this video, make sure you guys leave a like rating on this video. And don't forget to subscribe down below for more GTA 5 online videos just like this. Don't forget about the shark card giveaway that actually is going on right now. I had a lot of people tweeting me about the last one when the winners are going to be announced. I don't actually announce the winners publicly because there has been a ton of scam situations when I did that before. Of like fake Jeff tutorial accounts contacting the winner and I just don't give out any information on the winner basically what i do is dm them via youtube inside their youtube inbox so youtube.com slash messages on your desktop should be able to get you there if you do receive a message from me that means you, you probably won and just make sure the account is verified with a check mark to make sure you're one anyways before i want to get into that make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe down below and also drop a comment down below and doing those three things will get you entered into winning a shark card anyways with all of that being said let's go and get right into it so as you guys know, Rockstar actually did a huge money wipe recently and I do actually want to make a video on that and show you guys how you can get some money back from that wipe. Anyways, that's probably going to be coming either tomorrow or the day after. But basically what's going on is people are losing money and they can't afford anything inside this brand new Halloween DLC. And the thing is that before with previous DLCs and previous updates, you could actually try out the cars and the stuff added with the DLC inside single player. And then when you go into online, you can just buy it if you liked it inside single player. Because of course, inside single player, you have a ton of money or it's completely free actually in single player. So it doesn't even matter if you have money. Anyways, they completely removed that option from the game. Now, there is no actual confirmation from Rockstar why they removed that. But worst case scenario, we cannot do anything right now to test drive any of the cars, especially if we are in a budget as inside GTA 5 Online as many of you guys probably are because of this huge money wave that happened recently. Anyways, basically what this method allows you to do is get some cars for free and then try them out and then if you like them, you can buy it. So it's pretty much almost like a legal workaround that's not breaking any Rockstar TOS that allows you to try out the cars. So in order to start this off, what you guys want to do is head over to online, of course, then go to start online content creator and then head over to the deathmatch creator set up a deathmatch and then what you want to do after that is input all the information that asks you to so for example title photo trigger spot and all that good stuff make sure that you go to an open location and after all that is set up you want to go to the props tab head over to vehicles and then go to subcategory and then go to the type of category that you think your vehicle is in so for example, a lot of the vehicles inside the Halloween DLC are under the classics category, I believe. Some of them are under different categories, but what you want to do is scroll through each category and see what vehicle you can find, and then you can pretty much place that vehicle wherever you want. Now in terms of the vehicle customizations, now you can't actually customize it inside this game mode, but from what I've seen, most of these vehicles that, to, that you get to try out come like pre-modded. Now they don't get like a full modification, but all the good mods are there such as turbo, engine, and all that good stuff. Now don't take my word for that because I had some situations where the cars were completely uh, like unmodded at all. But basically what you can do after this is let's say you spawn in like five vehicles that you want to try out. Then you go ahead, test the deathmatch, and then you can get inside the cars and then test it out. Now an awesome thing about this is, is if you really want to, and if you have like a lot of friends that cannot afford this DLC either in terms of GTA 5 online money, basically what you can do is set up a legitimate deathmatch and actually like put spawn points and stuff. And if you're playing with friends, you guys are obviously not going to kill each other. And you can set up a whole row of cars. This will be really nice inside the airport. 
and you guys can pretty much have like a free mode session with cars and without losing any money inside GTA 5 Online. And actually by doing this, you're actually gaining money because after the deathmatch, you're actually going to be able to receive money. And since you guys are probably going to be playing for a long time in terms of deathmatch, you guys are actually going to receive a ton of money just by playing almost like a free mode inside this little deathmatch. Now, I know this was really popular before, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys did this, but basically what people did before is they made these little map packs of deathmatches, which were pretty much like almost amusement parks for people to spawn in with their friends, and then there were a ton of things to do. There was even one with like a green screen wall where like channels like myself for thumbnails that you can put up your character or whatever to a green screen, then screenshot your game, go into Photoshop, and then take out the background, and you got like a pretty much a green screen inside the game. Anyways, those maps were super cool, but since Rockstar patched a lot of those, this is a completely legal, not breaking any Rockstar Terms of Service way to try out any car inside GTA 5 Online, at least in the Halloween DLC for free. But yeah, as I said earlier, this method completely works on every type of vehicle inside the game, such as like a compact car or a sports car or a car from any DLC inside GTA 5 Online. This will work for as long as the car is inside the game. There you go. Anyways, that is probably gonna wrap up this method. Now, I do wanna spend the second half-ish of this video talking about the whole situation about like money being lost. Now, as I said in the intro of this video, I'm gonna have a dedicated video on that a bit later, but I do wanna talk about the little money thing that's been going on, and I would definitely wanna hear from you guys in the comment section down below about this. So hopefully you guys to stick around for the next few minutes and listen to what I have to say about this whole situation. So basically what's going on is there was a huge money wipe like three days ago inside the game and pretty much everyone, counting myself, lost money. Now, I can't say that a lot of people did have modded accounts that lost money and I completely understand Rockstar like removing illegitimate money that completely makes sense. But the issue that I have is some of the people that did not glitch or receive any modded money at all and they're actually being honest actually got their money taken away inside the game and the Rockstar is refusing to give it back which is kind of insane. Anyways, if you guys are affected by this, I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below because to be honest, this is kind of insane. Like Rockstar is removing legitimate money that people either got from like jobs, shark cards, etc. And then when they go and contact Rockstar saying, hey, I think you took money, uh, money out of my account for a mistake, they say, whoops. We can't give it back, it is too late. So that is pretty insane. I definitely wanna hear from you guys in the comment section down below about that issue. But anyways, just to wrap things up, basically what happened is there was a money wipe, a lot of people lost money, and what people are questioning now is, does that mean there's going to be a big DLC soon? Now, they don't mean the Halloween DLC, I'm pretty sure they just did it for some reason, not because of the actual Halloween DLC, but if you guys look back in history of the GTA 5 Online DLCs, Every single time we had a huge money wipe, there was a very large DLC afterwards, including Heist, the Finance and Felony update, all those updates, they had money wipes before them. So I'm pretty sure that in the future, in the very foreseeable future, we will be receiving a big DLC. Now, that does mean it is an online DLC, so I guess our hopes for a single player DLC can kind of go down for a little bit or a little while longer. But since they wait money online, it is probably going to be an online DLC. And I honestly have no clue what it's going to be, but hopefully it's going to be awesome. Hopefully it is going to be the Casino DLC. Because to be honest, from all the DLCs that have been rumored for ages, the Casino DLC is like the only DLC that they still have to do for online. And then of course they have to do the single player DLC that they promised for everyone, as I discussed in my previous videos. Anyways, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Anyways, make sure you guys enter my shark card giveaway that actually is ending on Friday. I'm probably going to start doing these giveaways like weekly starting Monday and then picking winners and DMing them on YouTube on Friday. So probably going to be doing that for like the next week or so. So hopefully you guys will want to enjoy that. Anyways, if you guys want to get entered into this shark card giveaway, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe down below, and also drop a comment down below. Just anything you guys think about this video, maybe your reaction or something you thought about that I discussed in this video. Anyways, that is going to wrap up this GTA 5 online video. My name is Jeff. Thank you all for watching and I'll be sure to see you guys in my next GTA 5 online video.